think that's the right button. I think we're live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. We're here with some more Gloomhaven Digital. Uh, I'm joined by John and Brett. Good evening, folks. Hello, everybody. Let us know if you can hear them. Okay. And let us know if you can hear me okay, if you're watching this live. Uh, and we're going to continue from where we left off last time. So last time the three of us met up, we started playing with the Jaws of the Lion DLC. And we did Scenario 1, which was a, a lot longer than I remember Scenario 1 being. Um, but we're going to dive in today with Scenario 2. So our party is the Red Guard, the Demolitionist, and Hatchet. And Scenario 2 from Jaws of the Lion is a hole in the wall. Um, which is, it's time to find out where the vermlings that attacked you came from. So previously, on Gloomhaven Digital Jaws of the Lion, uh, we took a job from the widow of a blacksmith, I think it was, who basically said, my husband's not come home, I'm worried about him, go and find him. And it turns out that these, these vermlings outside of town that are kidnapping people. Um, and yeah, there's, there's basically a hole in the wall, as you can see here, and we're going to go and find out where the vermlings came from. I think that's it. Right, select quest. I've also got the windows open, so if you can hear any background noise of birds singing, it's because I've got the windows open, because it's extremely warm here today. Right, we have an encounter. You notice a well-dressed Valrath merchant entering the Sleeping Lion, looking completely out of place. He scans the room, grimacing in disgust at any number of the activities going on inside. Eventually, he spots your table and approaches. I have need of your services, mercenaries, he says through a perfumed handkerchief. He claims there is trouble at the new docks. It seems there has been some strange happenings no one can explain. Goods moving or disappearing altogether, eerie noises, visions of horrible demons. I hope you are able to investigate and stop whatever forces may be conspiring to topple our economic supremacy. Right. Demand payment up front or accept the job proposal. Now, our party is a bit rough and uh, rough and nasty, yeah. isn't it? We'd like well, the cash. I think the, uh, the other guys are. I thought we were the good guys. Well, oh yeah, we 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 decided we were going to be the good guys, didn't we? To try and good undo guys, the damage. Good guys that are. to eat. <laughs> okay, so John's saying demand payment up front. Brett, what uh, are you saying? Accept the job proposal. Oh, that means it's down to me, isn't it? It is. What does the audience think? If you're watching this live, what do you think? We should, should we demand payment up front, or should we accept the job proposal? Let us know what you Open think. Open the box. Yeah. <laughs> Open the box. Take the money. Nobody's watching live. No, we have. Frodo is saying accept. We're going to accept the job proposal. Splendid, the Valrath says through his handkerchief. It seems a little money can go a long way in his place, in this place. So long as you can get over the smell, he adds, as he turns and walks out the door. So what did we get for that? I'm guessing a side quest. I, I'm guessing, I, yeah. I guess it didn't say anything has, has come up, but... You can't right. shake the uneasy feeling that those vermlings were too close to the city walls and decide to revisit the scene of their ambush. Perhaps you'll find signs of the blacksmith there too. Let me know if you're watching this, if, if that audio that's been read out is a bit quiet, because it, it sounded very quiet to me. So I'm just going to turn it up a bit. Presumably that is story volume. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn that up a bit. The tracks are easy to spot. Vermlings have never been known for their subtlety. You follow the scratching and the indications of a body being dragged until you find yourself approaching the walls of Gloomhaven. The sun is very low, but something isn't right. That isn't just a shadow cast across a lower section of the wall. It's a hole. The Vermlings have made a nest for themselves by burrowing into the wall itself. How industrious. Okay, I think the narration's over. <laughs> but I said that last time. Right, time to choose a battle goal. Ah, you see, that's a difficult one. 
I've got one that might never be able to be done. But there's also this one, and I'm not sure about this one. Ooh, tricky choice. There is a treasure chest if it's that. It's not, no. One. It's, it's to do with traps. And I don't know if there's any traps in this scenario or not. So... I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with that one. Right then, off we go. I ho And for those people who didn't see the previous stream, we're using the variant rule um, that the times two is actually a plus two. And that the zero is a, low or the miss is a minus to sneak two. closer, but they must have guards watching the entrance. There is a shrill shrieking, and then a number of vermlings Lots jump in the dark, brandishing yeah. their dull, poorly made weapons. No choice now but to defend yourself. Okay, so if I'd have known there was traps, I might have chosen <laughs> the other scenario. So let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, we have this room that we start in, which presumably is the wall to the city with the hole in it, uh, which is a door. And then through the door, we have a couple of rooms on the other side. And our objectives is, as usual, to kill all enemies in all rooms. So we have Vermling. Uh, what have we got? We've got Vermling Raiders. Now, they're the tough ones, aren't they? Yeah and Vermling Scouts, and, and some traps. Okay, and we're down here. So, what's our plan of action? Do we have any pushing of stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna move to the wall, stand on the gold, and push this fella. I have a push card yeah. if it's light. Remind me how you... Control and left arrow. No. Uh, so control and left uh, click, sorry. I'm gonna push this I'm gonna stand here, push this fella into this trap. Okay. So you're moving on to the gold, pushing that one into the trap. Now the trap is three damage traps, so it's not gonna kill it. Um, I'm currently I'm also at gonna back. do it. I'm also gonna do it three damage to do it. Oh right, okay. And when are you going roughly in the round? Early. But early. not super early, yeah. So not not very early, but early. 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 Okay. So, what about you, Brett? Have you got a plan? Um, do, do, do. Uh, not yet. I'm looking. Uh, I'm going to be setting, uh, pulling out Bessie. Um, mm -hmm. but she's not going to actually be doing anything this this round. I'll just be setting up for the rest of the the, the scenario. I have some pull cards. So, are you happy um, where you are, Paul, or you, do you want to go in that front space? Um, I mean, I could go here, and the first turn I could move to here, and then I could start pulling things towards me. So if I started where if I started here where I am now, then I could go very early, move to here, and then I could. Uh, no, I could only pull one of them towards me. It's only range two. But still. Or I could put a card on that sets me up for future rounds. It does mean that I am, like, here and possibly going to get attacked by, by lots of things. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just set up for the rest of the scenario, so I'm not okay. going to be doing a lot useful this round. Ah, no, hang on a minute. John, you're pushing that one into that trap, aren't you? Yeah, so yes, I don't want to I don't want to use the same trap. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'll do the thing. I think I'll move to here. I'll just rush in, all guns blazing. Um, but then what do I want to do with my top effect? 
Ooh. Ooh. That seems quite good. Now, the raiders and the scouts quite often do ranged, don't they? I think they do. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna disarm. No, the this raiders one. don't. The raiders don't, do they? The raiders are melee. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that maybe. Yeah, the, the raiders are mostly melee. The scouts, scouts have um, ranged attacks. Right. The other option, I've just noticed I've got that. So instead of that, I could move... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to move in and everything attacking me this turn has disadvantage. So yeah, I'm going to try that. Okay. I've locked in my selections. As has John, as has Brett. Yep. Off we go. There's a clicking noise, John, coming from you. Is that you turning your microphone on and off? Uh, it was my mouse. Okay. It was me, I think. I just oh, right, it's Brett. Okay. <laughs> so, the uh, raiders are attacking at range three, targeting two things. They're not moving. The scouts are also attacking and not moving. So, nothing's moving this turn. Right, okay, so we don't want to be next to the Vermling Scouts because they're going to poison. Right. Unfortunately, I will be. Will you? Yeah. The Scout? Oh, well, maybe I don't oh. have to be. You'll, you'll be. you'll be here. Yeah, I don't have to be. And you're going to push that Scout to here? Yeah, what about the Elite? What's he doing? The, that's, a, that's a Raider. That's oh, just going to okay. shoot you. And if you're next to him, he'll be at uh, disadvantage. So. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So yeah, that works. I guess I, I wouldn't, don't have to move there. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's gold there. You might as well, you know, pick yeah. it up while you're there. Oh, the, the old one-two punch. Uh -huh. yeah, like that. Very nice. Okay, so. It is me next. Uh, it's doing this thing where it, it gives us quite a bit of time between turns. So, I am going to move... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I thought there was some gold there. Has the gold disappeared? I'm sure there was some gold there. Nope. Yeah, for some reason I thought there was some gold there. But there isn't. How odd. Anyway. Um, so I'm going to move there. And everything targeting me this turn has disadvantage. But there isn't anything targeting me this turn. Um, apart from this one that's next to me. So, I'm going to attack it and disarm it. <laughs> well, no damage, but I have disarmed it, so <laughs> that's the main thing. Uh, now, do I want to gain sh one shield for the rest of the turn? Oh, I shouldn't have moved there because of that. Oh, that was a silly move. Yeah, no, I don't think I do. No, I think I'm okay. Yeah, there is gold there. There must have been a graphical glitch. It just it disappeared from the map. I'm sure there was gold there. Oh, three damage. Butcher. Sure. Yeah, I'll use the shield. Maybe I should have used the shield. <clears throat> I 
I'm taking the damage on. Have we lost John? Earth to John. No, no, sorry. The answer is yes. I was muted. Sorry, I'm muting myself because I'm a spooky oh, okay. chair. Wait a minute. What am I getting confused? Oh, that's a raider as well. Ah, I'd missed that that was a raider. I thought that was a scout. Oh, ouch. Ow. Yeah. Probably not move to where I did and disarm that one instead. Anyway, okay, we're done now. Okay, okay. <laughs> not a great first round. What is that? Oh, this is your uh, this is your axe. This is my favorite. Yep. Yeah. And he's going to walk with his legs splayed to generate wind. <laughs> Come and join me in the thick of it. I think I will. Over here. Scouts did nothing because they were only using melee. Right, okay, so. I want to try and disarm some of them. Right. Well, I can do a little bit of healing. I'll send a care package. Well, John needs a bit of healing as well. I might not be able to hit John. Oh, I might it's do. It's okay. I've yeah, got, I will be able to. I've got a potion, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah, let's set up my flames round, so everything that moves next to me is going to take two damage. And... Now, when are you going, John? And are you going to um, move... I'm early, early again. Are you going to move at least one space towards me? I can do, if that helps you. Well, then I can heal you. Oh, well, in that case, yes, I definitely am. Okay, so I'll go... In the, case. In the middle of the round... Yeah, I can still do that. That's fine. And I'll heal you. Okay, so the raiders are moving and attacking at range. So they do have a ranged weapon. Uh, and the scouts are also attacking at range, targeting two things. So if we can get rid of the scouts before they do their attack they're targeting two of us. Although it is only attack one. In fact, they're all only attack one this turn, so... Which of the scouts then? That one... That so one that little, no. little pesky thing is. There's only one scout, isn't it? The one attack um, one. Oh yeah, that's a raider as well. Is there only the one scout? I think yeah, so. the five okay, hit points right. mixed I've been getting trap. confused. The heat. Yeah, it must be. Well, now that I've got the window open, it's a, it's a lot better here. That's. Yeah, that care package won't target one ally adjacent to the target yeah, well, of the attack. Oh, you're hitting. Well, it depends which one you're hitting. Oh, I see. You're going for that one. Ah, and the healing John. Right, okay. Thank you very much. There you go. I've always said Brett's my favourite. <laughs> so maybe digital player in that pool. Now, it, a bit if you can push, the, push that raider back towards me so I can get my axe back, it would be much appreciated. 
<laughs> oh yeah, because your axe is there, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Well, I'll, I'll try and get rid of... Uh, I can't do that, however. I can destroy the obstacle so it's easier ah, for you to get there. Excellent. So, crushing weight, attack three, add plus two and gain an experience if the target is adjacent to a wall, which I believe it is. Oh, pesky minus ones. Now, what's it doing attack-wise? It move is moving three, three attack. and attacking at range, so in fact, it won't move. <coughs> Well, if, okay. if you stay where well, you are, it will. Yeah, so I'm now going to... What I was going to do is move here. Yep. Or yep. here. And destroy this obstacle little yep. thing. Skip movement. Destroy, destroy obstacle. obstacle. Get an XP and bless. Nice. Bizarre. How many hit? What's my maximum hit points? You're on six out of eight. Yeah, I won't drink the potion now. I'll just thank Brett for his ministrations. Ow. Ow. Knife in the back. <laughs> thank you very much for the minus two. And the minus one. Um, and a minus one, yeah. <laughs> Let's get all these coming. Wow. Something weird, then. Yeah. <laughs> right, my go. So. Um, well, I'm putting my shroud on. Which generates fire. And then I'm going to heal myself, which generates some more fire. More fire. El fuego. Now, who's left to go? The scout, who's only going to do an attack one, so yeah, I'm not going to bother putting my armor on. I'm getting all the plus attacks that we want. Right, round three. We've not killed anything yet. <laughs> but I suspect we might do this too. Can someone do a ranged attack on Brett? I'm presuming you're going to go and pick up your axe. Um, not this round. Right. Because I'm thinking of going and piston punching one of these two thingies into the trap. Okay, that's fine. Cons uh, well, if no one minds me consuming flamey woo woo. No, no, yours if you want it. When are you going? Mm -hmm. This is a good question. Early. <laughs> Hmm. A lot of my things are ranged too. Uh... So I'm planning to take out this guy. Okay. Just without moving him. And that'll be early. So, well, in which case, should I actually kill this feather rather than kill this feather rather than leave him with one hit? Uh, I was uh, going to no. probably get rid of that one. Okay, okay. all right. Yeah, in which case, not... I'm pushing this. I'm pushing this one into a trap. You're going to push it to there. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that works. I'm going to deal it a little bit of damage 
first. Um, I'll tell you what, John. So I, I mm -hmm. can hit this one and pull it to there, if that helps you at all. Yeah, that's fine. Does it? I mean, I don't have to pull well, it, it, it It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be pushing it three, so... Right, okay. Do that on the top and put it on the bottom. Do that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and pull this one towards us, but to be honest, I'm probably going to kill it before <coughs> I pull it. So. Okay. An even more important use. Uh, Royal Ascot managed a magnificent win against Bracknell in the uh, midweek 2020. Yes, nice. scoring 50 something off the of five overs. Hurrah! Hurrah! Okay, so the scout is moving and attacking. The raiders are moving, attacking for a little bit, but they're disarming. Oh. So we need to take them all out this round. They're all going now. after us. <laughs> so. I am going to do swift strength. I'm going to attack that one and that one. Confirm your targets. Okay, so, John, just to confirm, I'm going to pull that one space so it's on the space yes. between us. Yes. Done. Second attack. Overkill. <laughs> Uh, and then I've got all adjacent enemies suffer one damage. Okay. So this wasn't the plan, but I'll do it anyway. And then I pick up all of that gold from all around us, <laughs> which is nothing. Um, I don't think I need the armor on because I think you two are going to get rid of those two. Uh, nice. <laughs> Even with the minus two, it is gone. <laughs> right, hatchet. What is hatchet going to do? Uh, I'm going to muddle them. Attack one on three different targets. Nice. <laughs> oh. That's fine. Wow. I mean, remember, we are playing with the miss, well, with the null card as a minus two. So that's why we're seeing more minus twos. Because that might have been a null. There you go. <laughs> if at first you don't get him, get him with the second one. That's a really nice card, that. Attack two and move two on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Oh, what happened there? He's looting, I guess. Oh, no, he's, he fell no, over. Why he did he came, fall over? This little thing you. fell over and dissolved in the pile of gold. Yeah, why did he do that? Because he came next to you. Oh yeah, oh, everything that comes into me takes two damage. <laughs> nice. Okay, well that was good. Right, so I'm the only one that's been disarmed. <laughs> so that's not too bad. So yeah, I'll just not play an attack card. So I'm going to go very early and I'm going to deal it one damage and then I'm going to loot all of the spaces. Okay. I'm going late. 
dealing it three damage and standing on some gold. Okay, so it is attacking at range and then creating a trap. Okay. Which it won't do because it's not got any spaces. Um. Hmm. So. There's there. Yeah, it could do one here, could it? Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry. So even though I'm disarmed, I do that. And then I get all the gold. gold. All the gold. Uh, and then I do you... nothing with the top of that card because I'm disarmed. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so there's the trap. Right, you're going to go and pick up your uh, your axe? I am indeed. Oh, you can just loot it from where you are. Right. Yep. Nice. I'm going to throw it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Good shot. Where's the door? Off, I the think door so. is behind the. Yeah. This sort of bit of leather hanging down, right? Okay. Yeah. So you could. You could get it. Go. <laughs> All sorted. Fantastic. Long rest for me. Preston's joined us in the chat. He says the digital version of this game looks amazing. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's so good. I'm gonna go we shall back. call you M6 Junction 31 for short. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that well. <laughs> Living in Blackpool for the first 27 years of my life. Right. What are we going to do? Are we going in? I'm, I'm long resting. I'm going to go pick up my axe. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, the thing is, if I move in this turn, then I will be long resting next turn. So is it better just to long rest this turn, and then we all go in together? Yeah, probably. I, I think... Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be going in. Yeah, well, I'll long rest. I think I've got an open door and give everybody happiness or something. You've got the burst open and deal damage to everything within three spaces. Move, yeah, yeah, that one. I use that a lot when I was playing the demolitionist. What's the cards in hand for Hatchet? Hmm? How many cards do you have? Ten. Ten? Okay. Uh -huh. Just press Alt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, looks like Nine, ten, ten for me yeah. as well. Nine for the Demolitionist. Okay. I will heal myself. Which card do I want to lose? Good question. <clears throat> uh, I think that one. Done. Just losing cards malarkey is a real pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should get rid of that rule. Whenever you rest, yeah. you get all your cards back. Bellweaver becomes the most powerful character. 
<laughs> all of a sudden. The thing is, the game would mm -hmm. never end, because you'd have enough cards to constantly keep healing yeah. yourself. Or just negating damage. Yeah. Right, round six. So we're going in, all guns blazing. Are you going to try and do your fancy thing then, John? Yeah, which one is it? Move three, if you've opened a door during the movement, perform stun, target all enemies within range three, That's explosive bits. It's a, it's a burn card, but yeah. how many rooms have we got? How early is only, that? Uh, there's only two after this one. I mean, yeah, play okay. the card, and then... Oh, no, because you can't change your mind. No. Uh, so is that I'm a very going early going in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. I mean, what could possibly I'll, go wrong? Yeah, I'll I'll come in after you, and I don't know. <laughs> I'll I'll come in after you, and we'll see what's there. Yeah. Well, everyone will be. <laughs> Okay. In fact, yeah, I'm I'm probably going to end up in the doorway. Because John, if you're moving just in front of the doorway, I won't also I won't be able to move there as well. Yeah. So maybe I won't play that card. Maybe I'll cancel. Maybe I'll change my cards. Move three. If you open a door during the movement, perform stun, target all enemies within range three. Tell you what. Right, right. So it basically should stun most of the room. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I will be here. Sorry, here. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. I'll try that. I'm. That's I'm annoying. gonna. I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna go very, very late, and I'm gonna jump in with a move six. And and just end up somewhere in the room and attack a couple of things. That's my plan. Based on the fact that we are almost 50% of the way through the scenario. Right, here we go. Let's see what's inside. Oh! Oh, gosh! Snakes? Well, why did it have to be snakes? Well, they're Giant all going to be snipers. But yeah, you're going to stun almost everything, aren't you? Yeah. Now. You're not going to stun I'm... this one back here, but that's not going to get you. So. No, uh, but. Oh, you can. So move if to I the move sides. to, yeah, I'll move to the side and push the snake into the trap. That's still going to stun. With my one, two punch. Yep. Yeah. Is it one, two, three? Yes, it is. Yeah. Now the snake's only got three health. So it's going to be dead one way or the other. It's going to be dead, isn't it? I think, yeah. There you go. Yeah, well, that's, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, stunning is powerful, and stunning everything within three spaces of the door that's is nuts. massive. <laughs> You don't actually need to do any damage with this, do you? Because no, yeah, um, as no, you I haven't, haven't done. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, I love the way it dies. Writhes around in pain. Lovely. Oh, that's that's spectacular. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Okay. So, where's Brett gonna go? That's a good question. I might even end up all the way over here. In that case, uh, I think I'll come. Yeah. What's he doing? I mean, the other thing that makes the digital game look nicer is, and we've spoken about this on many other streams, is 
the amount of effort they've put into the scenery. You know, we've got through the wall and we can see that we're in sewers and there's a nice door and everything. It's like playing Gloomhaven, the physical board game, with all of the 3D walls and the scenery. It looks amazing. And obviously with the digital version, they've, they've really brought it to life with that. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh. I was going to say, everything's going to move before I get to go, but actually, everything's stunned. <laughs> Apart from the little guy at the back. Right. So, do I want to do the thing that I was going to do, which was move six and jump? I'm not sure whether it's worth doing it now. Nah, it probably is. Then again, if I don't, if I just move to there with a move two, that. I can still attack that one and that one. And you can pull this one into the trap. And I can pull that one into the trap. So let's do that. I'm just going to move two instead. Change of plan. We will stand in the doorway. And we will target those two things. There we go, that's that one gone. And that one I can't pull it because there's nowhere for it to go to. There's a wee man in the way. Done. So, two, two big things. Going to take quite a lot of beating. Right. I can do five damage on the thing that I'm standing next to because it's next to a wall. Okay. That's not bad. And I can add one to my melee attack, so I'll be doing six damage to it. That'll do. As a start. Say again, John. Sorry, what were you saying? Six damage to the, 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 the one that we're both standing next to. Okay, to sorry. Yep. So I'm going to hit this one, move away, and then uh, do some damage to two others. Ooh. Cheeky. Um. Yeah, I might just... I might just go late and see what the situation's like at the time. I say go late. I'm probably going to go around the middle of the round, and I'll I'll do some flexible cards, including some healing if needed. Okay. I've got all this gold. Right. So the raiders are moving, attacking at range with wound. Oof. They are barbed arrows. Right. We're going to need some healing to get rid of those wounds. <laughs> like a little hobbit ninja. Oh, is that, was that a bless? That was a bless. That was a bless. Which is yeah. nice. nerfed to plus two because we've, uh, we're using the low look variant. Yeah. So he would have been dead. That, that would have been a... a um, yeah, it would have been a 12 rather than an 8. Mm -hmm. oh. Meanwhile, <laughs> back in the other camp. What have you just done? Oh, okay. He did his uh, close cuts card, which is attack, move, mm -hmm. and now double throw. Oh, that's a good card. For a level 1 card, that's pretty good don't use your don't use your favourite on the one next to me no Ooh, well done mate right so what should I do Um, You're going to do five. He's, have you still got two damage if you pull people towards you? 
Um, I'm sure that's still on. Yeah. So yeah, I could attack it for three. Pull it towards yeah, take me, one take the other two. Take one step forward, stand yeah. on the gold, and then pull it towards you. Yeah, let's do that. Forgot I had that. Oh. Not quite enough. That's okay. Uh, what's it about to do? It is about to uh, step away and attack Brett because he went before me. If it steps oh, directly away from me, and then it'll take another two. Die. Will it? Because it's moving into a hex that's next to you. No, if it steps to there. Yeah, but if it steps to there, then it'll. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. And it just shoot me. No. No. Because it goes for its favourite target first, and its favourite target is Brett, and then it will move to avoid getting disadvantage. Well, let's mm -hmm. let's see what it does. Let's see if it's clever. It's clever. Damn it. Oh! Oh! Ow. Ow. Now, that's got wound on it. So, you will die at the start of your next turn. Yeah. So I need to go before that and heal you. You need to go late next turn. No, it's next turn now, isn't it? And I'll get the, oh, uh... Sure. I'll get that wound off you. Ooh! Uh, I'm still going to have to burn a card. Yeah. Forgot you were being attacked by that one as well. Right, so... I don't have any heals. Okay, I did have my heal. It's disappeared. It's in my discard pile. So I will do a short oh. rest <laughs> to get the healing card back. I'm then going to go... Um, I'm going to go very early. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go early, move here, hopefully destroy this obstacle, give myself a bless, and kill this one, or yeah, that, that's probably move here be dead. and kill that one. Right. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. I, I just need to heal Brett before Brett takes his turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, they're moving and healing this turn. At least they're not attacking us. Right, to me first. Let's get the healing done. Thank you. Okay, and then yeah, this one's gonna die. Ow. Right. <coughs> there you go, John. I'll let you uh, you can have the gold if you want. Hmm. I'd rather <laughs> get in the way of this this fella. Oh no, that's not going to work. Pools. I got that wrong, didn't I? Oh, just the big obstacle. Demolition. The demolitionist is going out to party after this scenario, and those need to look pristine, cut free, and bruise free <laughs> by the end of this uh, scenario. Well, you are on full health, so it's looking okay for so far.
It's right. slightly frustrating that you pick up your favourite at the end of your go. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take a long rest to heal some more, if that's okay. Okay. <laughs> you able to get rid of this one, John? Mm. With a decent card draw, yeah. Have you still got any of your pulling? Yes, you've still got one more. I do. For possibly the next room. I assume we're going to find more traps in there. I'm going to do this go, probably do it three damage. Maybe four if I'm lucky. It's okay. Decent. Hard uh, and, um, okay, it's pushing us away and then attacking at range. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move... Ah. That's okay. If you can move, the... move there. Oh. No. Sorry. It's alright. Uh, I'm just going to hit... I'm just going to do a melee attack on it, I think. There you go. I definitely get understand that. Famous last words. Well, it's the um, there's no no, is there? Nope. Hmm. from the bar of kill all enemies in all rooms that there's about the same mm -hmm. number of enemies in the next room. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a bit smaller. Nope, it's exactly the same size. <laughs> Looks there's smaller five enemies in this room. There's five rooms in this room. I'm going to be long resting. If you're long resting... Um, should we go in? Um, Maybe go in and come back? Though there is a treasure chest in there. Maybe this is the time where I use my move six. I think jump, I have to... Get in there, get the chest. Yeah, go for it. I'll, I'll follow it. I might not be able to, to get there. And in fact, I don't have that card. <laughs> so... I, I still might move in. <clears throat> if I move in and put my card on that gives everything disadvantage on me. Um, yeah, I'm doing alright for health. So, I might do that. And I'll do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to move in and see what's in there. Okay, and then how well are you things. going? I'm going early. Hopefully I'll be going after you, but I don't think I'd change my mind. Nah, nope. You're going before me? That's fine. Oh, you got your boots. Ah, I didn't realize yeah, you had well, boots. We've got, we've got one, two, three, four bad guys. Four yes. bad guys. And a horrible altar looking thing in the corner. But there is the chest. How far is that away from me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Would be seven, wouldn't it? Do you mind if I stay in the door? No, because um, no, I can move through you, can't I? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. Especially if you jump in.
can't do my cards back. Yes, I do. The thing is, we wanted them to attack me, didn't we? And that one's going to attack you. That one's going to attack me. That one will attack me. Oh, he's got poison. Right, so. Hmm. Okay. I'll move three to there. And everything has disadvantage against me. And then I will do an attack consuming the light. Do I want to put my chain armor on? Yes, I do. Time to wear the armor. It matches your eyes perfectly. <laughs> of course, this is still taking two damage next to me. <laughs> Run to uh, <laughs> Well, it was actually moving away so that it yeah. didn't have <laughs> disadvantage. Yeah, on me. Now, yeah. does that count as me killing an enemy? No. Doesn't it? I don't right. believe so. That's the enemy accidentally killing itself. Yep. <laughs> Nasty little snakes is. Yeah. Meanwhile, John's having a lie down. Yeah. <laughs> right. What's the, what's the move to get through to sort of here? That four. One, two, three, yeah. four. Cool. Yeah, I'm long resting. Do a long rest or do a short rest? Will you be able to move, Brett, so I can stand in the door? Uh, yeah, yes. Definitely. I think at this stage I might just short rest. I think we're almost done with this, aren't we? Hopefully. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to long rest. I'll short rest. That's fine. Right, I'm going to go and jump and get the chest. Okay. Where's my jump six card? Where's it gone? You just have burnt I lost it. it. You told, oh, you, I told it. Me, you told us that you didn't have it. Yeah, I burnt it. Oh well. Oops. <laughs> I just need a bio break, gents. It'll be a short, short. Okay. A short rest. Uh, so, in which case, what am I going to do instead? I'll just move again. Let's get out of the way. <coughs> and... Ugh. So many things in the way. So many things in the way. Ah, now I could have a little stab at this thing just before I. Oh no, I can't. Are you going to destroy. Are you going to destroy this wall, John? This wall of spikes. Not sure he can. Oh no, he's, long, he's just long rested, so he's got some cards back, hasn't he? <laughs> Bluetooth headset. I mean, I could hear what you were saying, but I couldn't respond. <laughs> and you certainly didn't want me to come off mute at that moment. <laughs> um, so if I can get. So, yes, I, I do have the ability to do that. And I can do it from the doorway, I think. But I'm going to be going... So, this going... is next to this, right? Yeah. The doorway so, is next to that, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to be going after halfway to enable you to get out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going very early. 
I'm going so early. I'm going before the the giant viper. That's very very early. Now then, should I attack the giant viper before I move away, or move away and then attack the giant viper? Don't think it matters. No, I don't think it matters. Um, okay, I will move over here, and I will. Huh? Make a noise, and then we'll attack this guy in the corner. I thought you were attacking the giant viper. Uh, no, I said, do I should I attack the viper before I move away, or move away and then attack the uh, viper? That's not what you said. Okay. You did the viper. Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, it's what I meant. <laughs> okay, that's fine. In the heat of battle, these things happen. Yeah. Oh, the gold's disappeared again. Which one are you going to attack? Because John's That's a good in, question. Yeah. Yeah. So if you attack the twelve, um, okay, Brett, I will have removed the obstacle so you can get close to it. Nice. nice. Good chunk of damage. Another hit like that. <laughs> oh, it's just about to heal itself now, though, isn't it? That's annoying. Is it? Oh yeah. yeah. Only by three. Oh, he's bringing his axe back to you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I'm bringing my axe back to you, baby. With a burning wind inside. Right. What should I do? Move in, destroy the fence, punch the viper? Yeah. And you can... Punch the viper into the trap. Punch the viper into the trap and yeah. probably kill it. Hopefully, kill it. Yeah. But it does have a shield. <laughs> Skip movement. Confirm action. Confirm targets. Get a bless. Oh, yeah, hi, yeah. And then punch Good. this. Punch this fellow a couple of times. First one did nothing. Come on, get a plus. Yes! There you go. Push into trap. Dead snake. Uh -huh. It would have been very funny if you'd still had a, your shieldy kill thing. Yeah. Because it would have died again. We would have gone, why is it just dying? Right, round 12. Yeah. Okay, what we've got? 16 hits to, to do. I can pull it into a trap. I'm going to go get my axe back. Yeah, so I'm I'm going to move here. Attack both of them, but pull that one into a trap. And I'm going okay. very early. Okay. Okay, I've I don't have a lot of movement, so I'm not going to be able to get next to anybody this turn. I'll go late and hope Come that in. somebody moves closer to me. See what's there? Yep. I might. I don't want to break a nail if I can avoid it. Okay, they are moving and attacking with range. Okay, so let's get this right. I move two. 
go to here. And then attack that one and that one. Pull that one to there. And attack that one. And pull that one to there. There you go. Happy with that. Nice. Yeah, we do want to loot this chest before we kill them. So, but I don't think we're going to kill them both this turn, are we? I'm, well, I'm hopefully going to kill this the elite one over here. Okay. There we go. And you get your axe back. Yep. Your head's going in and coming out. Oh, if the target has your favourite, return it to its active ability. Right, yeah. okay, right. Nice. Looks like a loot for the axe. Ooh. Longest day of the year today, is it? It is. Summer solstice. Oh. Yep. Uh, all downhill to Christmas now. <laughs> yeah, but we got things to look forward to. Yeah, something's happening in November. What's happening Some, in November? Um, I've been thrown out. Yeah, Gris, Griscon, is it? Grind con. <laughs> I think I might have been thrown out, guys. Oh, well, we're almost there. Yes. Well, I'll join back Bre's in, been, but you can end my turn. Okay. Uh... Yeah, it's now John's go. Well, Brett, Brett did have a go, though, didn't he? Brett, he Brett got, had his yeah, go, got, and then he, he, got, he, then uh, he kicked him out. But. Yeah. yeah, I can't. I haven't got a range attack. So. No, well, that's good. We don't want to kill it this turn because then the game okay. is over. So I'll take your turn for you, Brett, rather than. Oh no, he's letting you back in. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Hopefully it, it'll be quicker it, it, than it should have been the end of the round then. Right. Because last time it took us about five minutes to get you back, didn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to choose these two cards. Let us know when you're back in, and then I'll assign Hatchet back to you. He's joined the party party. <laughs> That's Fred Rowe 666 has joined the game. Uh, where is it? It's under multiplayer, isn't it? Yeah, so escape. Multiplayer. Hatchet. Changed for it. There we go. Done. Okay. So yeah, I'm just selecting my remaining two cards. <clears throat> one of which will allow me to move two and get the chest. But I don't think I can attack the thing. If, if you two are able to deal with the thing. I'm going to stand next to it. And as long as it's next to a wall, it will take two damage. And then I'll whack it again. Nice. So I might kill it. It's interesting, normally you take poison and then you start panicking and you end up taking loads of damage, but as it is, we got the poison at the right time. We haven't been attacked much since. Mm -hmm. Monica's in the chat. Monica's moving into a new apartment on December 1st. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What am I doing? That's six months away. Oh, don't say that. Wow, that's planning. <laughs> I can't believe we're in June already. I say this every year. Yeah, the thing about, seriously, the thing about the longest day of the year is, I know it's all about the tilt, tilt of the Earth's axis, but it needs to get changed so it's like in August or something. So you have <laughs> the full summer and then you get the longest day of the year. I'm sure there's something in my geophysics degree that would enable me to achieve that. And it's actually been an absolutely gorgeous day here down in the southwest of England. Yeah. Blue sky is really warm. Beautiful day. It's been absolutely gorgeous here as well. And Good. It's still light out. Yeah, it's just about. <laughs> it's, it looks overcast now, actually. What, what time does it get dark for you, Brent? 
no, it's still a blue sky. Yeah, what time does it get dark in the north of Scotland? Uh, so it'll still be light. Uh, what? I mean, it's what to ten now. Midnight. You'll still, you'll still be see the light. Oh right, okay. It's so cool. The, the sun will have gone down, but it, it won't yeah. be kind of full dark. Gloaming, I believe that is a good Scots word for that, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want to get the chest then, Brett? It's you upstairs, get I can get yeah, the chest. Yeah, you, you get the chest, I'll get, get the chest. gold. Okay. Can't believe it, I actually achieved my personal goal. I got mine as well. Guess what mine was? Be poisoned. No, kill three or fewer monsters. Which is why oh, I wanted okay. to know when that one died from moving next to me whether that was me or not. <laughs> and thankfully uh. it wasn't. Yeah, and I killed three. Exactly three. So, wow, so you've been efficiently wounding things but not killing them. Yeah. Wow. Hobbin Rudd loot eight gold. Oh, is that all that's in there? That's a bit boring. Six. Six. I can't even read. <laughs> right, so I think I can only loot one of the spaces. So I'll loot this one in the corner, I think. Yep, and then I will put retaliate on <laughs> for two XP. <laughs> Just such <laughs> Pushing the rules to their limit. I played a card. I got the effect of the and card. Then... I will have the HP. Thank you. <laughs> right, Yay, victory. Well done, Do we get some narration? Well, so first of all, Demolitionist has to have full health at the end because you're going out for a party. Yeah. Brett, unfortunately, was never burn a card yeah. to negate suffering damage. Oh, and you took that. Yeah, you got hit a few times, didn't you? Yeah, that, to be fair, I, only, I think I only burnt one. Right, but, and I managed to get mine, kill three or fewer monsters. But it says new perk unlocked next to it. Don't know what that is. Okay. I am assuming we have some narration, so I will go quiet. Still loading at the moment. <clears throat> How many viewers do we have live on the interweb? 21 concurrent viewers at the moment. Hello to 21 people watching us live. Yay, hi everybody. With the foul nest go, cleansed narration. of those wretched creatures, you take your time searching every nook. Surely the city guard will want to know about this. It can't be safe to have vermlings tunneling through the walls. It's hard enough to fend off their raids as it is. Under some rotten wooden boards, you manage to find an unexpectedly large amount of gold. And while sifting through the treasure, you find a strange note. It details some business arrangement, written in crude scratching, between the vermlings and someone by the name of Roland. Ooh, I like that amount of gold. Yeah, um, I just might make a note of this because there's two typos in that paragraph there. So, um, okay. yeah, one minute, 15, 50 seconds. We'll Apparently, let later. in exchange for supplying fresh corpses, Roland would pay the Vermlings in gold. And judging by the amount here, the Vermlings managed mm -hmm. to kill quite a few people before you put an end to it. And there's a missing full stop. It's on that the one. only lead you have, <laughs> so it's time to ferret out this Roland character. After resting at the Sleeping Lion, of course. Okay. Scenario so done. It has given us a side quest. Right, Agents okay. Of, Agents of Chaos. Um, so we've got I've 25 got... gold each. Our reputation has gone up, but I see we're undoing all of the bad work done on our. Is it Party, 25 gold they? each or 25 yeah, gold shared between us? Because I've only got 12 gold. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> so, quest location, Agents of Chaos. 
and the black ship. Oh, hang on, I'm I'm a bit ahead because I clicked through the narrative. So. Yeah, sorry. That's all right. And there we go. So yeah, we've got two new quests. We've got Agents of Chaos, what is occurring in the new docks, or the black ship to find out more against about Roland. I can't remember which of those we did first when we played the physical Jaws of the Lion. So the um, <clears throat> Agents of Chaos is a side quest that we got oh. from the encounter. Oh, right. Okay, that's the... Yeah, I say. The Valrath has paid you to investigate strange goings on in the new docks. Right, okay. But is, that's from Jaws of the Lion, isn't it? Or is that from the base game? I think it's from the base game. Don't know. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. No, I think it's from the base... Mm. Base game, because it's the... Yeah. Because I didn't click on City event. I didn't click on nope. City Encounter. It says you may only complete one City Encounter per visit to Gloomhaven. But because we're playing Jaws of the Lion, we've not left Gloomhaven to come back. Yeah. So we're not doing any City Encounters. But we are doing... We did get an encounter on the way there. So I'm not quite sure how it's doing it. But... So in terms of XP, I didn't get that much from that. I'm now on 25 out of 45. John's already spending his... John's at the shops. He's spending the money already. I am. I, <laughs> I, got, I got in before the footwear went. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> so we've all got quite a bit of gold, which is nice. Um, the part, the reputation is now only minus three. Because, yeah, the previous the previous lot did a lot of bad things, and we're the good guys. We've come along, and we're trying to trying to do undo all of that. Gloomhaven wealth is uh, still one, which is the prosperity in the board game. They've called it wealth in this game. Um, that doesn't go up very often. But when that does go up, it will unlock new items and things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, we've only completed seven quests so far in this campaign. But it's it's enjoyable. It's going well. So, yeah, I think we're all done for tonight. Thank you very much to you two for joining me again. No Thank you for having us. We will do some more Thank Gloomhaven you. Digital at some point every other couple of weeks or so whenever I get a chance. But um, big thank you to all Patreon supporters for helping fund the channel. And if you like the content that I create and you want to see more content, then yeah, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. But for now, I'm going to disappear. I'll be back tomorrow with some more games and then on Friday again. And uh, yeah, take care and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Enjoy the great weather. Cheers, guys.